China's unveiling of the H-20 stealth bomber represents a significant leap in its ambitions to modernize its air power and project military strength across the globe. As China's first dedicated strategic bomber, the H-20 signals the People's Liberation Army Air Force's shift toward a more robust and technologically advanced military, and it directly challenges the United States' dominance in the air with its own next-generation stealth bomber, the B-21 Raider. As both nations approach the deployment of these aircraft, the differences, similarities, and the role these bombers play in their respective military philosophies offer important insights into the future of global air power. The H-20's stealth features, though still speculative, are expected to mirror the most advanced designs in military aviation. The bomber's flying wing design, which is similar to the US B-2 Spirit and B-21 Raider, minimizes its radar cross-section, enhancing its ability to penetrate heavily defended airspace. The H-20 aims to avoid detection by modern radar systems, a characteristic critical to performing deep penetration strikes in contested environments. The bomber's design underscores China's focus on survivability, which is central to its military philosophy of deterrence and precision strike. In contrast, the B-21 Raider embodies decades of U.S. technological advancements in stealth and avionics. The Raider incorporates state-of-the-art materials, coatings, and a refined flying wing design. What distinguishes the B-21 is not only its focus on stealth, but also its flexibility, as the aircraft is designed with modular upgrades in mind, allowing it to evolve with future technological advancements. The B-21 also benefits from the U.S. Air Force's extensive operational experience with previous bombers, enabling a higher degree of certainty regarding its capabilities and effectiveness in combat. The H-20, while details remain sparse, is believed to have a range that could extend up to 8,500 kilometers, positioning it to strike key targets across the Indo-Pacific region and possibly beyond. This extensive reach, coupled with its payload capabilities, would give China a significant advantage in terms of power projection. The bomber is expected to carry both nuclear and conventional munitions, enhancing its role in China's nuclear triad and strengthening its strategic deterrence. Additionally, long-range cruise missiles and advanced electronic warfare systems are likely to be integrated into the H-20, providing operational flexibility in both offensive and defensive roles. On the other hand, the B-21 Raider is expected to have a range of about 5,000 nautical miles, approximately 9,000 kilometers, uh, with the capability to strike anywhere globally without the need for refueling. This long-range capability is essential to the U.S. military's global reach and its ability to conduct precision strikes in a variety of theaters. The B-21 is designed to carry a diverse array of munitions, ranging from conventional precision-guided bombs uh, to nuclear payloads, making it a versatile tool for both strategic deterrence and conventional warfare. As a result, the B-21 is capable of operating across a wide range of military environments, from strategic deterrence to high-intensity conflict zones. China's strategic philosophy, focus focused on enhancing its military deterrence and regional influence, is evident in the H-20. The bomber's development is not only about technological superiority, but also about projecting power in the increasingly contested Indo-Pacific region. As tensions rise in the South China Sea and around Taiwan, the H-20 is poised to serve as a critical asset in China's arsenal, ensuring it has the capability to strike well beyond its borders and challenge U.S. military dominance in the region. Its potential to penetrate advanced air defense systems positions it as a key component in China's strategic military planning. The H-20's range also provides China with the ability to execute retaliatory strikes or conduct operations with less reliance on bases in contested areas. Meanwhile, the B-21 Raider plays a central role in the U.S. military's philosophy of maintaining global dominance and strategic deterrence. As the U.S. shifts focus toward high-end conventional warfare and 
countering peer competitors like China and Russia, the B-21 is designed to survive and operate in the most hostile environments. Its role extends beyond the strategic deterrence of nuclear weapons to ensuring the U.S. can respond effectively to any threat anywhere in the world while maintaining the flexibility to evolve with emerging technologies. The B-21 is particularly crucial in providing the U.S. with a long-range strike capability that can act as a force multiplier in a multi-dimensional conflict, capable of striking critical infrastructure, military installations, and even adversary command and control centers with devastating precision. The H-20, though it has captured significant attention, is still in the development phase, with the first concept image recently unveiled. China has not provided a precise timeline for when the aircraft will become operational, uh, but estimates suggest it could enter service sometime in the mid-2020s. Despite the uncertainties surrounding the aircraft specifications, China's rapid advancements in stealth technology and indigenous aircraft design suggest that the H-20 will be a formidable force upon deployment, positioning the PLAF as a rising challenger to the U.S. Air Force. Should the H-20 prove capable of matching or exceeding its predicted performance, it will mark a watershed moment in China's ability to project power over long distances, particularly in the Indo-Pacific. In contrast, the B-21 Raider is slated to make its first flight in 2026, with an expected operational deployment in the late 2020s. The Raider has benefited from extensive planning and research, backed by decades of U.S. bomber development and testing. The B-21's design incorporates lessons learned from the B-2 Spirit and the B-1 Lancer, positioning it as a highly refined, advanced system that is likely to be operationally effective soon after deployment. Furthermore, the B-21's readiness is strengthened by the U.S. Air Force's ability to integrate the bomber into its broader nuclear and conventional strike strategies, ensuring it remains a key asset in the nation's defense arsenal. The H-20's development is a clear indication of China's desire to secure its place as a global military power capable of rivaling the U.S. The bomber will play an essential role in China's military philosophy, which emphasizes strategic deterrence and the ability to challenge foreign intervention in its regional interests. The H-20 enhances China's ability to project power across the Indo-Pacific, especially in areas where U.S. and allied forces have traditionally held dominance. It further strengthens China's ability to deter adversaries with the threat of credible nuclear and conventional responses. The B-21 Raider, by contrast, reinforces the U.S.'s commitment to maintaining its global leadership and military superiority. With its advanced technologies and strategic flexibility, the B-21 is integral to U.S. defense planning, serving as both a tool of deterrence and a versatile asset for offensive operations. The B-21 is a testament to the U.S. military's commitment to staying ahead of potential adversaries and adapting to emerging threats. By ensuring the United States maintains an unmatched strategic capability, the B-21 will enable the U.S. to influence events in theaters where other nations seek to assert their dominance, especially in the context of rising geopolitical tensions with China and Russia. Both the Chinese H-20 and the American B-21 Raider represent the pinnacle of their respective countries' military ambitions, embodying each nation's philosophy of war and their desire to secure a competitive edge in the evolving global security landscape. While the H-20 may still be in its early stages, it signals China's growing technological prowess and its ambition to challenge U.S. air dominance. The B-21, meanwhile, stands as a testament to the U.S.'s long-standing leadership in bomber technology with a design that will likely set the standard for strategic bombing well into the future. Um, as these bombers take to the skies in the coming years, they will undoubtedly play a crucial role in shaping the future of global military power, with each nation leveraging their strategic bomber as a symbol of their global military posture and influence.